Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a user registration and login form with PHP and MySQL. This is actually the most easiest method to create a login and registration using PHP. We are not using any framework or any support library to create this application. If you need more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments. Let's jump into the video. So we are creating a user registration with PHP and MySQL. I already have all the code written in my blog. Go to my blog and copy the codes. I will explain all the things we do with this code. So first we have to create a database. To do that, go to PHP my admin, create a new database. Here I am creating a database called new demo and click SQL and copy the code and paste it. You can see the database table is created. Then next step is creating a config file so we are copying the code open our code editor new file enter the code and save it like config.php in this case we created the database name is new demo and in the code db name is demo we have to change it new demo and save it okay now we are going to the third step creating a registration form so copy the code actually it's a skeleton you can edit it like whatever you want and paste it save it as signup.php and you will be able to see when you localhost youtube sign up the sign up form In this form, I just added a, a bootstrap CDN and in this form, we added a post method to create account.php file and we have two fields, one test field and second one is password field, one named username and second one password. So the class is um, the bootstrap class from control and just placeholders okay so when someone click on the register button the data should post to create account.php so we have to create a file called create account.php and we are copying the code Save it. Create account dot php. So when someone submit the form, the data will transfer to the create account dot php file. If the request method is paused, we will get the username and password over here. We store the data in the username and password variables so the password variable we hash it we hash it into md5 format so currently the password variable handling the md5 hash value of the password now we are checking if the username is already exist in our database for that we are running a query like select start from users 
where username is equal to username so if any of the entries is matching to the same username like if we are entering a username called admin then the admin username already in the database it will return the value of one because there is already one admin username so uh, here we are checking if the check count not equal to zero then show an error message username already exist please try another one otherwise we can push the data I mean the username and password into the database like this after submitting the form we are storing the user id i mean the last ended user id into this variable then creating a section called user id using the data if we call this user id section anywhere in this application we will get this user id the section will automatically destroy after few hours or when we closing the application after creating the account we are redirecting the user to dashboard.php so we are going to create the dashboard.php file here we can find the code oops paste it okay fine here you can see we are using the section start function so if you want to call the section stored data like the section user id you have to call this function on the top then we are including our config file that is the database connection file here we are assigning the user id the section stored user id into this variable so we are checking the user id not equal to null then get the user data from the database so like select star from user where user sorry where id equal to user id so if the user id is equal to one then it will get all the data of user id one then we are fed that data as an array and stored it to user data here we can see i called the username from the user data that means the login user username and the created time so that we can find in our database so i show it in here and we have a logout option so we are going to create a logout file logout.php logout.php okay the logout file is linked to this logout.php file okay i will show you how it work like I open my localhost and located where I created these files and going to sign up king password 123 when I click register it will go to the dashboard and welcome king and registered at the date when I check my database we can see that the user one username king and password this md5 value we entered one two three as password and it convert into convert into md5 that is what we see here and the creator date so we can see the data here add some more details like 
hello this is dashboard means it will show like hello this is king's dashboard this data coming from the database according to the user i create i click log out and it's automatically redirect to login page because we don't we don't have created the login page so it is showing not found so i am going back to the root again clicking sign up username rocky password 456 now we can see uh, we are logged into the rocky's dashboard so now if you have to log in to our king dashboard we have to create the login form so we are going to create the login form here we are logging out create a new file called login.php and copying the code from login and here we have to post the data to login dot login check dot php so we are creating a file called login check dot php and copying the data sorry copying the code from my blog here also the same thing happening we are getting the username and password and storing it over here and converting the password to md5 hash and if the username is not equal to null if username has any value then we will check our database like select star from user where username equal to username if any username matches this username and the password is matching to this password i mean this password the md5 hash password if there is a valid user for this statement we will store the id of the user into this variable if the user id is not equal to null then we are storing the user id as a section if the username is null then we will redirect them to the login dot php again that means the username or password they ended is incorrect you can add any response in this url if needed like like this okay so if we refresh the page we will get the login form so try to login with old username like king and password 123 we got logged in so that means the system is working successfully so just click log out and try with another username what was that rocky and password 456 yes and if i enter some wrong password it will automatically go to the login form with the error 